Three shots at 325, how to work out. Let's go find out. Hey, this is always exciting. So this is 300 meters, which is around 330 yards. Try not to fall down. Okay. And one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three and a half inch group. Not bad, probably could be my error. And I'm also hitting the plates. So, uh, and that at 330 meters is right about where I thought it might be. So, one, two, three and a half inch group at 330 meters. That's, uh, that's maintaining MOA in a slight breezy condition. So that's pretty good. A bit hazy. We got fires in the Ibex Valley. So it's blowing into Whitehorse. Oh, air quality's kind of shot. I guess maybe there is such a thing as global warming. <laughs> anyway, uh, 25 out 6 with those 101 grain LRX bullets with a pretty high ballistic coefficient of 0.4 pushed at 3336. It's been a heck of a lot of fun. So, uh, let me show you a few things about the ballistics. Okay, here's my 25-06 uh, drop chart. And you'll notice that right out at 350 yards with a 300-yard zero, where I've got it zeroed now, I don't really have to aim anywhere outside of the animal. And uh, I basically have that as my point-blank range. And then at 400 to 600 is the only time I really have to worry about uh, the uh, clicking or slight holdovers. So there's the click values and also the MOA values for right out to 600 yards where, a reminder, I'm at 1,000 foot-pounds and well over 2,000 feet per second. And what about wind? So these are the values for in MOA, 175 yards with a 10 mile an hour wind, crosswind at 90 degrees. Um, I hold off about 1 ohm LA and I have the windplex. So at 12 power, that's at that first dot. At uh, 330 yards, I've made it to 2 MOA. At 475, 3 MOA. And at 610 yards, 4 MOA with a 10 mile an hour wind. So there's a bit of Kentucky windage there, but those windplexes really help. And that's when you have that scope, which is a 4 to 12 set at 12 power. So pretty good. And this is my ballistic chart, which I've dropped on the uh, stock. So this gives me all of my values right out to 600 yards. I won't normally shoot at 600 yards. I won't probably shoot much past 400. But if I wound an animal, it's nice to have these values. A friend of mine taught me this, so that you're able to uh, follow up shots right out to 600 yards. And at 600 yards, again, I've got 1,000 foot-pounds, so enough to kill an animal. So everything's verified. Um, I know this is holding MOA. Um, I've verified my, uh, my drops. Uh, they're the same as what I calculated. So I'm now going to start getting them off the bench. And for the rest of the summer, I'm going to start shooting, um, from game positions. I'm going to use this Kramer Industries bipod from sitting and from prone and I'll shoot off my pack and I'll take the 22 and I'll do a lot of shooting and I won't do any more load development or any more, any more of that stuff. I just want to get really used to this trigger, get used to really shooting this rifle well, right out to five, 600 yards. And again, like I said before, I'm not going to shoot that far unless something is wounded. I, I like 400 yards or under. That's really, really great. So I'm having a lot of fun with this 3336. It's old school. It's using your point blank range. Uh, and, you know, the thing I, I, I wanted to also say is at 450 yards, I have a 14 and a half inch drop only, which means I hold right on the backbone of the animal and I drop it right into the lungs. So right from zero to 450 yards with just a little bit of Kentucky windage, I'm good. Past 450, which I'm very rarely, rarely going to shoot, I can dial. And I'm only going to do that at probably an animal that's wounded or if the conditions are absolutely perfect and there's zero wind. So, uh, you know, this 25-06, it's like a magnum. 
the 06 case gives you magnum velocities in caliber 25. You can go 257 Weatherby, but you start getting overbore. You start losing a lot of barrel life. And uh, even this 25 at 6 doesn't have great barrel life, but pretty good. And uh, so I'm really liking the fact that I think this has been optimized. And uh, it's a 10-inch twist, regular 25 out 6. That 100 LRX is hard to beat for a normal 25 out 6. And I'm not going to ever get a 1 and 8 inch twist 25 out 6. If I'm going to do that, I'll go 6.5 PRC, uh, which is uh, designed right from the get-go for those, uh, those high ballistic coefficient bullets. There's a place for that, but there's also a place for raw speed. And this little 25 out 6, 5 and 3 quarter pound rifle, Forbes 24B, that's got what you need for it. For, for a 25-06 for a mountain gun. Really good.